morning, guys. I am home from boot camp. I am ready for the day. And it is kind of a crummy day today, not gonna lie. It is starting to rain right now, and it is pretty dark outside. The sun's up, but the sun's like hiding behind the clouds. So the lighting isn't the best right now, but I wanted to hop on really quick because I get asked, all the time about the clothes that I'm wearing, the makeup that I'm wearing. If you didn't know, I have a beauty channel and I do a lot of tutorials, talk all about makeup on that channel. It's called Budget Beauty and I will link it down below for you. So if you love makeup, skincare, makeup tutorials, if you wanna know how I do my makeup, definitely subscribe to my beauty channel. My shirt is from Amazon. I'm really loving these kind of knit tops with this fun animal print sleeves. I have several of them. You know how much I love animal print. It is nice and long, more like a tunic style. I will go ahead and insert a picture here so that you can see what the shirt looks like, the length of it, so it's great with leggings. Another thing that I'm wearing today is some new bras. So I've talked a lot here on my channel of this situation and how it's one of the things from substantial weight loss on me that has suffered. They're just not where they used to be. They're not what they used to be. And I have a lot of loose skin. And I mean a lot of loose skin in this area on my back and just it just makes me look bigger than I am and it's hard to kind of shove all the loose skin in bras. I've asked several times on Instagram, here on YouTube for your recommendation for bras and I've actually found some that I really like. They help conceal back fat, they help push everything up, make them look like they should prior to weight loss or prior to when we were younger, when we were in our 20s and 30s and our boobs were just a little bit perkier. These bras definitely help out. And it's a brand that I've shared with you guys before. It's Nador. I actually showed their stick on pads that help push everything up. They're great if you're wearing a halter top, off the shoulder top. I shared those in a video a while ago and they just released some bras and I really enjoy their products. They're really high quality, super affordable. So I purchased four bras. I am wearing one of them today and I wanna share with you guys the bras that I purchased. So here's the first one right here and this is their V-neck stretch push-up bra. I love a good push-up bra, but what's great about this is there's no wire. I don't love a good wire. I feel like it pokes out a lot in the bra and it's just not the best for me, I don't find that I really enjoyed those type of push-up bras, but this one is such nice quality. It is so buttery soft, gives you a push-up without the wire, adjustable straps, removable pads, hook and eye closure, and there's this mesh design right here. I don't know if you can see that, but that allows for some extra breathability. I like that they're skinny straps, but then there's enough coverage for the back. And like you know, that is a major, major problem area for me. Super soft, super comfortable. I have mine in a size large. It does come small through extra, extra large and comes in four colors. I went ahead and just picked up this one in black. Also, I wanted to show you that all the bras come in this nice reusable zip top bag. So you can use this for wet swimwear, for your laundry when you travel, like underwear, socks, bras, you can reuse these bags. This next one is by far my favorite of all the ones that I picked up because look at how full coverage this in the this is in the back. I mean, that is the back panel. It is the most full coverage bra that I've ever had. This is also a push-up bra. It again is buttery soft. It's a wire-free, seamless bra. It comes in medium through extra large and comes in two colors, a nude and the black. It has a little bit wider straps on the shoulders, which I appreciate. They don't dig in as much, but my favorite feature about this is the coverage in the back. Since that is such a big area for me, that's a problem. That's such a big problem area for me. It also has has removable pads. So if you like a little bit longer line, more full coverage bra, this is definitely a winner. And then for another full coverage option, I picked up a sports bra. I have not tried any of their sports bras before. This one is incredible. I am just obsessed with how buttery soft these are. This sports bra, I also appreciate that it has nice full coverage in the back. It does have removable pads. It's more of a long line sports bra and is extremely, extremely comfortable. And for me, it keeps everything in place. I can run, I can jump, I can do boot camp, and things don't shake around and move around. But it is such a lightweight, soft material. It comes in sizes small through extra large, in black, and in nude. And it has a U neck design. Design, which is great for a little bit lower cut top. So if you're wearing a tank top to the gym, or if you just wanna wear this every day, it's that comfortable. You can wear a little lower 
shoulder cut top and you won't see the bra through that. And again, I love that it's wireless. I don't love a wire, so I love that I can get the same support and lip from a wireless sports bra. And then lastly, I picked a bra up in nude. I don't actually own any nude bras. And look at how cute the wavy design is on this bra. This one is a adjustable snap closure. There's actually three different sections for the snap closure. Again, that super buttery soft material, removable pads. I love the wavy design. It just adds such an elegance to it. And it has really nice thick straps. Right now this is in stock in a medium and a large. All the bras that I selected were a large and it comes in four different colors. It has moderate support, so it definitely keeps things in place. I wouldn't necessarily recommend working out in this bra, but to wear day to day, it's really seamless and beautiful under clothing. You can't see any of the seams with any of these door bras. They are completely seamless under clothing. Again, it has that v-neck style so that you can wear it with lower cut shirts. So, so those are the four bras that I picked up. I literally love every single one of them. They are so affordable, less than $30 per bra. I will go ahead and link Nador down below for you guys with a discount code. Definitely check them out. They have released a whole new line of just buttery, soft, amazing bras. And if your back is a problem area, if this isn't what it used to be, if you have some loose skin or some extra fat around the chest area, you can't go wrong with any of these bras. Honestly, these have become a fast favorite. So now I'm gonna make some breakfast. I am pretty hungry. It's about eight in the morning. So I'm going to have my last Gilbert's Caprese sausage. I love these chicken sausages. I get asked a lot where I find these. I have only been able to find them in Walmart in my area, but just check in the sausage section where you find all the sausages and bacon and see if your store carries these. I've also heard from you guys that they do sell them at Target as well. So I'm gonna fry up one of those and then I'm going to have my vanilla protein waffles that I made in my meal prep. These, you guys, are so good. They're peanut butter, vanilla. I toss them in the toaster and they get nice and crispy. And then I'm gonna top it with some of the Lakanto cinnamon maple syrup, one of my very, very favorites. I'll link Lakanto down below with 15% off. And then I like to put a little bit of regular, full fat, delicious butter on top. So let's make breakfast. So I have my Gilbert's Caprese sausage, my two waffles, which is actually half of a serving. You can have four of them per serving, which is crazy. Normally I have four, but because I'm having a sausage too, I opted for just two. And then I put a teaspoon of Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter on top, and then my Lakanto Cinnamon Maple Syrup. So this is my breakfast. This darkness outside is killing me. So I have my breakfast. Let's go ahead and give everything just a quick taste test. Mm. I got a little syrup on the sausage. That's really good. And then the waffles are so good. I'm telling you, they're one of the best waffles that I've made. Low carb, high in protein. Perfect breakfast. I was thinking I was going to have some fruit too, but I'll have some fruit with my lunch today. I do have a couple errands to run, so I'll take you guys with me. I am on the hunt for some stocking stuffers for my dogs, and then we're going to a Christmas party this next weekend, and I need to grab a gift bag. I only have one gift bag left, and we have to bring two white elephant gifts. So I am going to run some errands a little bit later. We'll go do a little bit of shopping. I have a package coming with these plates and serveware and dinnerware that I am so excited about. I heard about these from another YouTuber and I had to have them. They are amazing for portion control on a weight loss journey. So they should arrive today. I'll share those with you guys. Hopefully they come before lunch and we can use them to make our lunch today. I have been impatiently waiting for them to arrive. Oh, and Palmer's Bark Box should be here today too. I'm going to go ahead and mix up my post-workout. You guys know I love taking a supplement, a BCAA supplement, and I've been loving my Motivate products. I just ordered a whole bunch more from their website. I'm telling you their supplements are so, so good. So this is the Motivate Amino. So this is for post-workout. You can also have this pre-workout or during your workout. I like to take it with me when I go to the gym and sip on it while I'm working out. It helps with muscle recovery, endurance, 
strength, energy, and I have mine in pineapple orange. It is 100% sugar-free. I love it. It tastes amazing. And then this is the other product that I really love. This is the Motivate Burn, and I have this in cherry lemonade also sugar-free, also amazing. This helps with fat burning, energy, mood, endurance. It's such a great product. So we'll actually, I will most likely put that in my next 32 ounces of water, but let me mix up my amino so that I can help my body recover from my workout this morning. tastes so good. It's like a tropical drink. It's so, so good. I will link Motivate down below for you guys with a discount code. I've shared a lot of their products here on my channel. I'm obsessed with everything. They've kind of become one of my go-to supplements. So I'm going to have a quick morning snack and then we're going to head out and do a little bit of shopping. I'm going to do one of the Chobani Zero Sugar. This is in the Mixed Berry. And one of my coaching clients actually told me about this fun yogurt hack where you can yeah, add freeze-dried fruit for crunch to your yogurt in place of granola or even regular fruit. Sorry about the lighting. It is, like I said, just a really dreary day today. So I'm actually going to mix in this whole pack of mixed dried fruit. This is from the Dollar Tree. It is only 60 calories. I'm gonna mix that in here with my yogurt and that's going to be my morning snack. Are you cozy? Yes. You are so cozy, Lola Lou. Your cozy little dog. Look how dark and dreary it is outside. It's never like this here. It is sunny literally every day. This is the gloomiest that it's been since we lived here. And it's raining, which is abnormal as well, other than monsoon season. So hopefully the rain lets up and I can give you guys a lemon tree. Plus I have an interesting update on our tree situation and an update on our orange tree as well. So I put together some cookie boxes. One of them is for my neighbor. I'm gonna bring that over to her today. And the other one is for a party that we have coming up this weekend. These turned out really cute. I actually bought these cute boxes at Hobby Lobby. And this one uh, that goes to my neighbor actually folds over like that and says, Merry Christmas. But here is the box I'm bringing over to my neighbor. And I have my cookies, my sugar cookies that I made. These are the Partake holiday cookies, the no-bake peppermint cookie, there's an apple cider, a Siete wedding cookie, the brown guys down here in the corner. These are those peppermint Oreo dupes from Sprouts. And then I tossed on some of the Grinch Hershey Kisses. And I think these turned out really, really cute. This one actually has some of the salted caramels with apple from Trader Joe's. So this one goes to the Christmas party. That one with a Christmas card is going to my neighbor. <laughs> I want a lot for Christmas. My baby. Good morning, guys. I'm in the car. We are heading out to do our errands. I just dropped that big box of cookies off to my neighbor. She was on a call for work, so she couldn't get away, so I left them on her porch. And then I was like, I hope that the dogs, cats, javelinas in the neighborhood don't get to the cookies before she has chance to go and grab them. But I brought with me, I'm pulling into Dunkin' right now, I brought the sugar-free peppermint mocha creamer. This is the last of it. I mean, there's hardly any in here, maybe a tablespoon, maybe two. So I'm gonna pour this in my coffee. I'm just gonna order um, an iced Americano black and then I'll put in the creamer rather than spending points, calories, sugar on the peppermint mocha creamer at Dunkin'. And then we are going to go to probably Ross. I'm on the hunt for some Christmas gifts for my dogs. So Ross, TJ Maxx, both of those are in Green Valley, which is by my house. And then I need to run into the dollar store to grab a gift bag for the Christmas party on Saturday. And let me just tell you how amazing dried fruit is on yogurt. It is one of the best things I've ever had. It adds that crunch and that sweetness. So I think I'm going to pick up some more dried fruit when I'm out because I'm officially obsessed with that. So that is our plan. It is rainy, it is cold. Let's get some more coffee so that we can make it through this shopping trip. Yes, can I get a medium iced Americano with an extra shot and just black? Um, can you put a little extra ice in there for me? But that'd be everything. Of course. Okay, thank you. 
So I have a Duncan um, gift card from one of you that sent me a Christmas card. So if you're watching, thank you so much. I actually already ordered one coffee and I'm going to go ahead and grab today's coffee on the Duncan gift card too. So thank you so much. So when we get home, we'll have some lunch. It is currently about 10 20 in the morning. So by the time I get home, I'll be hungry for lunch. I have a recipe that's been rolling around in my head for lunch that I want to share with you guys. It sounds so good. I'm really excited to make it. We have a comfort food dinner tonight. I'm hoping by the time I get home, like I said, those dishes that I ordered are here because wait till you guys see these total, total game changer and uh, Palmer's Bark Box so we can unbox that with him. So coffee, Ross, Dollar Tree. All right. First stop is going to be Ross. Here's my coffee. It ended up being maybe a tablespoon of creamer. I don't think I'm going to take my coffee in though. It's, it's too hard to navigate Christmas shopping with coffee and it's dumpy rain and I have to park far away. So I'm going to walk as fast as I can into Ross. Like I mentioned, I'm here for gifts for my dogs, for their stocking, anything else that I see that maybe tempts me. We're not exchanging gifts this year. Troy and I aren't exchanging. My in-laws and us aren't exchanging. My mom only wanted a picture of Troy and I. So I sent her a picture of Troy and I. I mean, I don't have a lot of gifts to buy. That's why I sponsored the elderly woman here in Green Valley. I'll be bringing her gift to her this next week. And then I brought a toy for Toys for Tots when I did boot camp on Saturday. So those are the gifts that I had to buy. I, like I said, I brought my neighbor a box of cookies. She is pregnant with a baby girl. So I'll be buying all the baby girl things when she has her shower. So we didn't want to exchange gifts with them either. So I'm just going to see what I can round up at Ross. I don't even, I don't even know why it's raining. It never rains here unless it's monsoon season and it is not monsoon season. I mean, look at how dreary it is. So weird for Arizona because it's legit sunny every day here. So I actually found these bags at Ross. Get four different holiday bags for $4. That's actually cheaper than the Dollar Tree. So we are gonna definitely snake those. Now let's see what they have for dog toys. Anything with stuffing, Palmer plucks immediately. So I'm going to dig around, see if I can find something without stuffing. Of course, I'm stopping over at the candles, see if there's any good Christmas ones. They always have such cute packaging. I need to get you guys mounted in my car. There we go. I feel like we can do a car Ross haul really quick. I have a huge, huge, huge bag. I got a lot of stuff. So I found this plastic cutlery set and it's red for $4.99 and you can see that they're kind of fancy looking plastic cutlery. I thought this will just be a lot easier on Christmas than having to wash dishes. And then I found a few toys for Palmer. He's really the only one that plays with toys. The other, well, Disa doesn't care about anything, but Lola likes food and bones. So I decided to get Palmer this cute little Frisbee looking thing. It was $2.99. And then I spotted these on an end cap. They're the little crinkly toys. They do have a squeaker, I think. Yeah. Ah, no, no squeaker. Okay, so they don't have a squeaker in them. They were $3.99 and there's no stuffing. So I thought that was a smart move. And then I grabbed these raspberry, milk chocolate raspberry almonds. They just sounded really good from the brand Pro Nuts. They actually have six grams of protein in them. So not bad at all. I thought that would be kind of a fun little sweet treat. And then they had the Ghirardelli Mini peppermint bark, little bite-sized ones. I'm going to throw this in with the gig gift that I'm bringing to the Christmas party. I grabbed this big bow because the one that we have on top of our Christmas tree is a burlap bow and Troy doesn't really like it. He said it kind of blends in with the tree and this buffalo check kind of rustic vibe is what our tree is. We actually have all the ornaments we had in Washington because I had just bought them and didn't want to spend money buying all new ornaments again. So we went with the rustic vibe and I thought that this was really cute and we're going to try it out. It was $3.99. If it doesn't work on the tree, I'll find another spot in my house for it. I did end up getting one candle. I mean, how cute is this? It was $5.99 and it smells like the most delicious pine. And I love that it's like a red and white candy cane jar and dog treats, which is another really good thing I can throw in their stockings. Like I mentioned, Lola loves treats. Actually, all the dogs love treats. So I found from the brand Whimsies, they're the little Christmas tree in Snowman Chews. These have really nice, clean ingredients. And then I found the Greenies Gingerbread. I thought that those were really fun. They're the little teeny ones, so I can throw some in each of their stockings. And then I found this Rawhide Free Simple Ingredient Made with Real Chicken Chew. The dogs love chews. And these were $5.99. 
the greenies were $6.99 and then $5.99. All actually really good prices. And then I saw these little lights on clearance. They were $2.50. So they're mini LED crystal icicle lights. I thought that these were really cute for $2.50. They're battery operated. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I may not even put them up this year, but I was thinking they'd be cute in the background of my videos or if I could find just a fun little spot to hang them in the house and you can't beat it for $2.50. I went ahead and grabbed that four pack of bags. These are so cute for a buck a piece. I'm not even going to go to the Dollar Tree. The main reason I was going was for bags and I got them for cheaper at Ross. And then last but not least for $4.99, I got this big black bucket. This is for Palmer's toy. So Palmer, Palmer is real smart and real stubborn and real needy. And he figured out that all of his babies, his treats, everything are stored in our laundry room on our open shelves. So he goes in there and whines until you give him a treat a toy multiple times a day and he won't even come in from the garage when we let him out to the garage to play until he gets a, a toy out of his bucket so i'm gonna put all his toys in this so he can't see them relocate the bucket so he doesn't know where it's where it is and hopefully that alleviates mr Baker from asking for toys multiple times a day so that's everything i got my lap is full it was about 60 dollars, so not bad at all i think i'm gonna go ahead and head home sip on my coffee and then when we get home we'll make some lunch i have a really good recipe in mind. One more side note before I get on the road officially, the rain has stopped and it's getting sunny. I'm telling you this was the weirdest Arizona weather ever so I'm grateful that the sun is popping through and that the rain has stopped and it is 42 degrees so it's still pretty chilly. Actually when I go to boot camp on Wednesday it's supposed to be freezing. It never gets that cold here. At least I've heard and not until like later in January, but I'll be bundling up for sure. I was telling all the girls that I'm probably going to wear a hat, gloves, the whole nine yards to boot camp because 30 degree, 32 degrees is cold for this Arizona girl. So here's the bow that's up there now, just a brown burlap. So we're going to put this one up and see if it looks better. So that looks a lot better on the tree. It definitely adds a lot more color to the top. I think we'll just go ahead and throw this away because I don't think there's anywhere else that we need to use it, but I think that looks a lot better. All right, it is lunchtime. My dishes are here, so I'll share those with you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my lunch started because it needs to go into the air fryer. So I'm going to make some of these Just Bear chicken nuggets. I love these. I buy these at Costco. I'm gonna make some extra for Troy as well. So one serving of these, is about three ounces for 160 calories and 16 grams of protein. And then I'm going to have it on half of a wrap. I don't need a whole wrap for just the amount of nuggets that I can have. So I'm going to have half of a wrap and I'm going to spread some light mayo. And then the star of my wrap is going to be this cranberry feta cheese that I bought at Sprouts. I'm going to sprinkle this on the wrap as well. That will serve as my cheese. And with the chicken should give me that kind of sweet vibe. So I'm really excited for that. And then I have some fresh blueberries and some cut up cucumbers. So that's gonna be lunch. Let's go ahead and get the nuggets in the air fryer and then I'll share with you guys these amazing dishes that I got. So you can hear my air fryer going in the background and I wanna share with you guys Uba Home. So I, like I mentioned, I saw this on another YouTube channel and was like absolute genius. I need that in my life. Uba Home is all portion control, dishes and flatware. So everything is designed to help you portion control. So I bought pretty much everything on their website so that I can share with you guys the different products from Uba Home. So what immediately caught my attention was their pre-portioned plate. And this is the plate. It has pre-portioned out sections that helps you make better choices. So this big side over here, I would utilize for protein, veggies and my carb source. So it helps you have a balanced plate without even thinking about it. It is nice, ceramic, it is white, it is beautiful. It comes with some information and it walks you through it. You can see that it tells you where to put your proteins, your vegetables, your carbohydrates. There are some healthy eating plans and ideas on the Uba Home website. I'll put all of that down below for you. So it says each food group section is calibrated in size based on tons of research, but hey, that doesn't mean you can't use them any way that suits you. So we're all different and we all have different dietary needs. The high divider wall keeps your food separate so there's no mixing of gravy and rice. Microwave and oven safe. 
dishwasher safe, and it's made from high quality porcelain, which means it's gonna break if you drop it. But this is so heavy and so luxe. I was so excited to see an actual portion controlled plate. So we're gonna put lunch in the Uba plate today. And then they also carry portion controlled to go container. So if you work outside the home or you take your meals with you on the go, these are going to be lifesavers for you. They have a nice rubber lid and on the inside, you can see that it lists out all of the measurements. So it has everything from a quarter cup, half cup, three quarter cup, one cup, and one and a quarter cup would be the very top yellow line. So whatever you're taking with you, you can measure it out in the bowl. So no more measuring cups. You don't even have to use a food scale. You can put your cup of food in here, pop the lid on and take it with you to go. And what's great about these to-go containers is you can see that they're all different colors. So that one was yellow, this one is green, and the third one is red. So the red bowl is for your protein, the green bowl is for your vegetables, and the yellow bowl is for your carbs or your grains. So you can pre-portion out all of your meals and have a balanced meal on the go. So something you can take to work or take with you when you're out and about. And they are the same high quality porcelain, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, all the same things as the plate. And they're even freezer safe. So you can throw your pre-made meal in there and throw it in the freezer. So like I said, no more measuring cups or anything. You can do it all right in the container, which saves time and dishes. And along the same lines as the to-go containers, they actually have pre-measured bowls. So again, quarter cup, half a cup, three quarter cup, one cup, and then the top yellow line would be one and a half cups. So again, this is great for fruit, grains, vegetables, whatever you want to use this for. Same high quality porcelain microwave safe dishwasher safe and then lastly this is really cool too they have portion controlled utensils they come in this nice silicone sleeve and you can see that the flatware is smaller so it helps you number one slow down your eating and portion out your food you can keep it stored in the silicone container again throw it in your lunch bag with the pre-portioned containers and you have smaller silverware, which means naturally you're going to eat slower and be more mindful of your portion. So I love that they did flatware as well. So you can buy each of these products separately. They have bundles on their website. I will go ahead and link Uba Home down below with a special discount for you guys. And we're gonna utilize the plate for lunch today. And then you'll be seeing me use these pre-portioned to go containers in my meal prep a lot. And this bowl is going to come in so handy. I'm probably going to to pick up a couple more of the flatware and the pre-portioned bowl. So here's my lunch. I'm already absolutely loving the plate. I use the knife. I'm gonna use the fork to eat my lunch. So I have my wrap. This looks so good with the feta and cranberry. That's one serving of chicken. So you get a lot per serving. And then I have my blueberries and my cucumbers. You could even slide these over and add some dip or hummus to that. But this looks amazing. I really love the plate that they have these high walls so my food doesn't blend together. And it is just really, really nice quality. Again, I'll link everything down below for you for the pre-portioned out dishes and let's give this wrap a taste test. Mm, that's really good. It's salty from the feta and sweet from the cranberries. Wow. That combo is really good. So if you can find the feta cheese, definitely pick it up. Like I said, I got mine at Sprouts. So BarkBox is here for Palmer. So we're gonna unbox it really quick. He's not paying attention at the present moment. So hopefully I can get through this and then we'll let Troy pick out whatever baby he gets. So this is the Seasons Sweetings Bark Box. This is so cute. We get this every month for our dogs. I'll link it down below for you. You actually get a free month, I think, with the link down below. And you get lots of toys, treats, bones, all sorts of good stuff in here. And it looks like we have two toys, which is pretty normal month to month. So we have the Tree Yourself 
toy that has a little handle here, which will be great for tug of war. I don't know, is he, oh yeah, he's right here. So this one, I'm assuming, is going to squeak. And then we have the Roland Overman, which is a little gingerbread man with a rolling pin. This one has like the plastic bottle in it. These are really, really cute. And then, oh I know, you should be patient. And then we got the Wakey Wakey Bacon and Oatmeal Treats. My dogs actually always like the treats a lot that come in the Bark Box. And then we have the Clucky Soft Bakes, which is a chicken recipe. And then as always, we got the Pumpkin and Honey Bone. So we'll give that to the dogs. And then all the packaging is really cute. Are you whining? Yeah, you're whining. Um, and it tells you all the other toys that you could have gotten in your box. So everything is just adorable. So Troy, should we give him the tree yourself? Or the gingerbread man in the rolling pin. Rolling pin. Rolling pin? Okay, he's whining, so. Oh, ex Palmer Clayton! Not again. Here, let's let Daddy give it to you. Mommy will get you on video because you're really impatient. Okay. Yeah, it's a good boy. You're sitting for Daddy. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. These are... <laughs> nah, he doesn't want it. Oh, yeah. Get it, buddy. Get your baby, yeah, that's your Christmas baby from your box box. Good job, okay, bye. Bye, you gonna go get the zoomies? Oh yeah, we got the zoomies. <gasps> Did you get new babies? Did you get new babies? Oh yeah, oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Palmer! <laughs> Are you gonna go another round? dog has problems. There he goes again. Okay, bye. One more thing. I know I'm going to get some questions about my body scan. I told you guys that I was going to give you an update on my body scan, what the results were. I'm going to hold off on that for just a little bit. I have a really special video in mind and I'm going to share my body scan results when I do that video. So I won't be sharing them quite yet. Just know it was very, very enlightening. And if you can find an end body scan in your area, highly recommend. So afternoon snack time, I'm gonna be really pretty heavily protein focused for my snack today. So I'm gonna have one of my favorite protein waters. I am obsessed with these. I got these on Amazon. This one is the Wild Cherry. There's 15 grams of protein, 60 calories. So I think it's one point uh, for the bottle and it is really good. It has no protein aftertaste, literally just tastes like flavored water. I love these. I have one almost every single day. And it's a great way to get in 15 grams of protein. Really, really good. I'll link them down below on Amazon. And then I'm gonna do the Vermont Uncured Pepperoni Turkey Stick. That way I'm getting in about 25 grams of fiber in my snack. Super low point. These are great to go options, or if you work outside the home, these are great snacks to have on hand. Again, I'll link the protein water down below. I've never seen it anywhere other than Amazon, and it's pretty affordable, and it is delicious. For dinner tonight, I am making cheesy ham and potato chowder. This is going to be such good comfort food on this kind of chilly day, and we're gonna cook this in our on our stovetop in a big pot. You can also cook this in a slow cooker or a Dutch oven. You could probably even throw these in, this into your Instant Pot. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need all-purpose flour, whole milk, pepper, I'm gonna use fully cooked bacon. You could use regular bacon, center cut bacon, but you're going to need some bacon. Garlic powder, better than bouillon. Diced ham, a couple of carrots and onion. Light shredded cheese and a couple of good sized russet potatoes. So the first thing I'm going to do is peel and dice my carrots, peel and dice my potatoes, and dice up my onion. So I have my bacon in the microwave crisping up. To my big stock pot, I'm going to add in my diced onion, diced carrots. Now we're going to add in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Stir that up, make sure the carrots and the onions get coated really well in that flour and allow that to cook for about another minute. Then we're going to add two teaspoons of better than bouillon, three cups of whole milk, pepper, garlic powder, and lastly, all of our chopped up potatoes. Give that a quick stir. You want to make sure everything is mixed together really well. We're going to allow this to come to a simmer and simmer for about 10 minutes. Now we're going to add in about a cup and a half of water for a little bit extra liquid and we're going to allow this to continue to simmer until our potatoes are cooked through. 
We're then going to add in our diced ham. Even though it's pre-cooked, we do want it to warm through in the soup. Also, side note, you want to make sure you're stirring through the entire process. Otherwise, everything starts sticking to the bottom of the stock pot. So make sure that you're stirring through every couple of minutes. Oh my goodness, does this soup look and smell amazing. Look at the big chunks of potato, the ham. We're going to go ahead and turn off the heat. Make sure your potatoes are cooked all the way through. We're going to add in five slices of the crumbled up bacon, two cups of light shredded cheese, which is the entire bag, and then I'm gonna add chives. I think that's going to be a really nice addition to the soup. Think baked potato. That's what kind of enters my mind, and I'm thinking chives will be a really nice addition. If I had fresh ones, I would have totally added those, but I do not. So we're going to stir this together really well. That cheese is going to melt quickly in with the rest of the soup. The bacon should stay crispy by adding it in at the end and not boiling it with the potatoes and the ham. Oh my goodness, this smells cheesy, bacony. Oh, like, can we just talk about how amazing this soup looks? I wish you guys could smell it. So I am going to go ahead and plate it up. This is what we're gonna do for dinner tonight, and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is dinner. Doesn't this look incredible? The big batch makes 10 servings, so it makes a lot of soup. But this bowl is a pretty deep bowl, and it is three quarters of the way filled. I did top it with a little bit of chives. I can't wait to dig into this. This is seriously giving me all the comfort food vibes. I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Bon appetit. So for dessert tonight, I want to try out these raspberry almonds that we got at Ross. I opened them up. They smell really good, and I was actually surprised at how big they are. These almonds are. They're huge. There is four servings in this bag, and you get about 35 grams for the serving. So I'm going to weigh them out on my food scale, but I thought that we could try them. I paid $3.49 for these, and again, they have six grams of protein per serving. Those are really good. You get a very, very, very subtle hint of raspberry. It tastes more like a chocolate covered almond, but the chocolate is really, really, really nice quality. These are really delicious. And I mean, there's a lot in the bag. And if it's only four servings, you're probably gonna get, I would imagine maybe 10 or so per serving, maybe even more. So if you see these at Ross or you can find the brand Pro Nuts anywhere, so far, these are really good. Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. It ended up being a really nice day, so I've spent a little bit of time outside this evening. I'm gonna wash my face, put my pajamas on, and call it a day. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a What I Eat in a Day every single Wednesday. I upload five videos per week. I will link the I will link the Uba dinnerware down below recommend, highly, highly, highly recommend. I love it. It is so great for portion control, as well as the Nador brows, bras, all the information, everything I shared with you will be down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Happy Wednesday, friends, and I'll see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye! Jingle bells ringing in my ear.